we're calling it elemental hair. So it's a girl that's been exposed to the elements, the sea, the wind, the water, the sun. There's a little bit of a kind of castaway, wash the shore feeling to the girl, a bit Robinson Crusoe. Philip kept talking about, a lot about water, aqua. He liked the idea that hair looked wet in some way. The main thing we're using is the grip, which is a strong mousse, but a lot, like literally three quarters of a can on each girl soaking the hair and rather than drying it in with a brush we're just diffuse drying the hair so it gives it a natural dry texture almost like a girl that's been in the sea on holiday and then in the back i wanted to create this almost like savageness to the hair so there's this dreadlock knot in the back of the hair it almost looks like she's kind of slept in her hair so it still gives it that kind of street appeal to his girl I'm calling it my monochromatic cyber glow. It is a glow that is multi-tonal. There's opalescent qualities to it. We used a foundation, a tinted moisturizer mixed with illuminator to make that opalescence pop. We did Iceland eyeshadow. Brows are pushed up. And then on the lip, there's a brand new lip gloss called Anifleur, which is a beautiful, opaque, iridescent, purpley lip gloss. Philip took me through the collection and he showed me all these beautiful fabrics that have an inspiration from under the sea and really wanted that to be a feature with the makeup for the girls for the show. It's more about a research into terrains and landscapes and bodies of water, living organisms that exist in these kind of delicate and brutal ecosystems, places like the Galapagos. So really the brute and the beautiful. If you look at the first opening looks, it was like uh, the organzas and the taffetas, but held together by the energy of geodes, you know? And I think that it's like the brutal force and something is about balance and counterbalancing it all and letting this delicacy and respecting it. Maybe it's a response to the chaotic pace and everything and looking for something solid to stand on and what better solidity is like rocks, you know? wanted to be like a reflection and a refraction of nature and technology, but I didn't want it to be techy, you know, I didn't want it to be like neoprene and slick and everything. I wanted it to be everything matte and raw and the whole idea of like simplicity. Somehow the most simple, brutal shapes become the most futuristic. I really liked his kind of earthy, coastal inspiration. I thought that the prints were really interesting and the textures. There was kind of a mixed media, like sort of raffia and knit sweater that was very cool. Easy clothes and a mellow feeling and blues are very important and we saw a touch of pink in that collection and also kind of a different kind of proportion. Sort of boxier shapes and longer length sleeveless jackets over cropped pants. All of that came together at his show. I liked how he sort of redid the motorcycle jacket, which has kind of become one of the iconic pieces in his line, and he kind of redid it almost with a kimono spin in prints, which I thought was very cool as well. And I mean, he's just a designer who seems to really be able to hit on like every trend every season. And so once you see his show, I feel like everything kind of comes together for the season. I 
love it. You know, the last few seasons, I think he's finally been like carving out a special niche for himself. There's a lot of deconstruction, a lot of layering going on. So he's hitting all those trends, but you know, he's giving you a sort of rocker sensibility with the negative print, but he's doing it in a little bit more tailored, sophisticated way. And I kind of think that that's a great move for him because you know, he's growing up as a designer and he's establishing himself. volume and the shapes of the jackets and the crop jackets and the transparency pieces I thought were great. You know, everybody's talking about what's next in fashion and fabric and technology and this season I think he really got on the bandwagon with that and I think it really worked for him. We were also exploring the whole idea of simple bags, but you know, quote unquote simple bags and really showing the rawness with the raw leathers and really exposing the artisan's hands and the skill and the folding and tucking and pleating it without seaming and all the charms that were dangling on the outside. It was like this whole idea of you were capsized and you fell overboard and then all your accoutrements from the inside left hanging on the outside. Kind of tongue in cheek, but at the same time, serious bags with just some humor. I think it's for everyone who understands.